Hey guys, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Anissa Bell Rose. Thanks to all the new subscribers. Thanks to the returning subscribers, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you're new to the channel, guys. We're on the road to 2K. Blessings to everyone. So, guys, I'm here back with a quick update on the whole PPV strike that has been going on in Jamaica, guys. And the cabbies now come forward. Quite a few of them come forward speaking out. You know, talking about, you know, what they disagree with, with the current Prime Minister, Andrew Holness, and his whole team that just reinforce a traffic act out of nowhere as it pertains to the car seat, guys. And we still have to be on this topic. It's a hot topic. It's a trending topic for the whole of um weekend coming into this week guys and uh, you know to see the scores amount of people out there you know at the bus stops children you know whole jamaica has been affected with this three day strike that the ppv the taxi operators are currently um taking part in guys and the police officers the lawmen them have to be taking the people them you know, to and from. And, you know, people have to go on with them daily life. But at the end of the day, you saying that if the car is smoking and all those nonsense rules and regulations will not come forth with, where the taxi operators then forget 150000 for pay, you know, if something wrong with them car and for pay, if smoking and all of that like come on man it's ridiculous some of them um rules and regulations with them are laid down it's just nonsense and guys want to talk up in the comment section and tell me what to think about it we're still the pan topic here it's a hot topic and we're not come off until we hear some form of resolution and all of them traffic ticket there where the Taxi operators them get guys. All of them they for revoke, and them come with something, some some clean slate and make the people them know. Getting a meeting with all of the heads of the operating um system or the operating body, and make the people them come to some agreement, some some amicable agreement, so that people can go on with them daily life. The taxi operators them vice them 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 concerns and vice them plight and them really and truly not really want to do this. But before me get um talking further, I'm gonna make gonna listen to what this one such cabbie has to say. Too much focus on taxi, non bank crime. Mr. Olness, please just resign. From me in power, Jamaica decline. While you're there home, relax and recline. All nature know the lie speak from your mind. Cause all the bird I show you a sign. Disturb your speech when you speak every time. Look at the crowd. Look at the people that want to reach home. Right? We are not happy to be doing this. But at the end of, at the, end of the day, we have to stand for something or we'll fall for anything. These high ticket prices must be, must be revoked in every way. Right? Because, look at this now. One of the, one of the things is that to your vehicle smoking in, um, on the road is a hundred and fifty thousand dollar fine at the court. When I when I saw that, I, I wonder if it, it was a joke. It must be a joke. Ten thousand dollars, right? Ten thousand dollars, you know? Fine for for smoking while you're driving for weed. It should be right across the board, not just weed alone. Cigarette. You understand what I say? It's a nice street. I mean, I tell you, I'm not alive. I'm not alive on the street. Look, the street don't look good. Look on the people them. People over there, so people are all bored. No, 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 no move, no, no go on. Yeah, so moving on now to the next point at hand. Guys, um, I'm seeing in the observer of where thieves stole 65 Samsung tablet from a high school in St. Elizabeth, the Sydney Pagan High School. And guys, over they say it's worth even cash too. It's worth over two million dollars. Now, uno 
set of people we do all of this from down at St. Elizabeth. And people might know how old we because nothing is stay, nothing is stay grown. And so some of the children might be even going to the very same school too. And this are the act I want to carry out. The children will go at the school for use the resources them. I want to go and break the school and teeth out the whole of the tablet them. Then what phone the picnic them are going to learn? What the picnic them, what people I send them picnic them go to school for going to learn? If Uno from the very same community could have done such an act like that. What happened to them criminal, yeah man? This is what the Prime Minister, this is one of the burning issues where the Prime Minister needs to work on. The crime and the violence and the whole robbery, scamming and the whole of them things they went for nipping the bud and curtail that in a Jamaica instead of him talking about him ever send the Jamaican troops and lamb and them for go um Haiti for go help curtail crime over there. Sort out down a yard first, sort out when you're there before you can sort out abroad. I mean, I have to say to the criminal, they don't allow the school things, they let go the whole heap of criminal activity. But Ireland is a beautiful island, and the whole heap of people want to come there, come visit. The whole heap of people love Jamaica. So if you don't want to go to Jamaica, you want to go find somewhere else to go. And leave the, and leave the, leave the school, school property, when you belong to, and allow people things, man. Leave people things. And that's all I have to say upon that one, guys. Jumping into this next part where you have the teachers them crying out for their money. Crying out for their money from the government, just the same. And over 200 workers from Upper UTEC staged a two day sick out in effect right now because of same compensation, money problem again. So what of all these taxes that the government is collecting? What of all the taxes and the people them cannot get pay, but yet still you make sure say so you get your pay? Why you don't take a pay break, um, Mr. Prime Minister? And pay the people them, pay the teachers them. Because without the teachers them, parents alone can't do it at home. They take the village. And we need the teachers them. So the teachers them forget them compensation. Likewise, the, the, the workers them up at UTEC. Guys, I don't know. That is why Jamaica have the mass migration. Because of things like these. Them not pay the people them. How them supposed to pay the people them? Pay the people them, Mr. Prime Minister. Because you collect all the taxes. Alright guys, also in, 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 in this video I'm going to speak about it was a 7.8 magnitude earthquake that hit Turkey as well as I think they say um, some part in a, I don't remember if it's Syria but we can comment down below guys because with all this news and every minute something happening in this world sometimes it's even hard to keep up and two and three and more is better than one. So guys, you know, let us pray for the people um, of Turkey as well as the other country that was affected by this. And I heard it was two earthquakes of seven point odd magnitude and over 2,300 persons dead already. Plus other persons were them unaccounted for much persons buried down in rubble. So guys, there's a whole lot going on around the world. There's a whole lot. There's a whole lot. But, you know, let us just send up some prayers for Turkey and the other country, as I said before. And guys, stay tuned. Stay the course. You know, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It's your girl, Anisabel Rose. Help us. Help me to go to 2K and beyond, guys. Thanks for all of the support, as I say. And, you know, I'll see you in the next video. Big up.